Welcome back, everybody. So I was just over here where it uh, spawned. So uh, I'm over here. I was going to get some uh, some materials because I need. I'm still built. I need to put a roof on the uh, mansion over at uh, the Hot Springs Villagery building. So I wanted to get some granite because I knew I had some here, and I saw this. Now I didn't put this here. There's a, uh, a cave that goes on this other side here. This was all open. This is Endermen. Those stupid Endermen are building a wall to block me off so I can't get down down there. I don't, I don't know. Why are they stacking it all right there? I don't see you down there. So. But that's, that's kind of irritating. I mean, it was bad enough. I've been complaining. To no end because over at the uh, city we're working on, we've got that big ice river around there. And those stupid endermen keep throwing dirt blocks all over the river. I have to keep cleaning it up. I want to, because I, uh, oops, I hear it. You, you. Where'd he go? Come on, come back here. Come on. Another one of those. There's more of them over at the city we're working at. But, oh, there you are. Yep, and he dropped a grass block. Yeah, there's more of them over there at the other city because they keep putting uh, blocks all over the ice and they have to keep cleaning up the ice. And I know from a technical standpoint, I can probably put a rule in or something so they can't do that. But I'm trying to play the game for better or worse, as it was uh, intended. I, I'm close. I am so close to putting the anti-griefing stuff on. Because I am... Well, especially now, they find they're blocking up walls in my building. In my, you know, in my houses and stuff. Why are they blocking up walls in my houses? <sighs> okay. Sorry. I... Just went a bit insane, an insane rant there. But I had, I just had to, I just had to point that out because I have not seen that before, where the wax, they're actually blocking up walls in a house. So anyhow, I'm putting a granite on the roof of the building, the mansion we're working on. I'm going to put a mix of uh, polished and non-polished granite, and I'm hoping that'll look okay. I think it'll go with the mud brick in the jungle wood sides I've got on there. So I think I think it'll all look look good. You know, I really wish if I had like terracotta stairs, that's why I'd put terracotta stairs there if I had them. Because those are the ones that uh, I think those are really look good. And speaking of, uh, no, I don't need any more. I was thinking I need jungle wood, but oh, it's nighttime. Yeah, it's got to be, uh, it's, it is dark. I am not going to go out in the dark. Let me get some sleep. And then when I'm going to fly over, I need to recharge my tools. Normally I would recharge um, at our zombie spawner over here. But I thought I, I want to try... The spawner, I've got a double spawner over here at the village I keep forgetting about. For a long time I have not been using this, so I decided I think I'm going to try using this. So this is our uh, zombie, not zombie, this is our villager refuge. I wanted to have an island where the villagers are safe, so it's got a nice wall. Nobody can spawn on here. I forgot all about this, and I just remembered it the other day. I was wondering, like, oh, I wonder if this would be uh, better than the one at spawn. The one at spawn's pretty good, but it's just a single uh, skeleton spawner. This one has a zombie spawner and a skeleton spawner. So 
let's make sure we're in XP mode. And if I remember, because it's been years and years since I've actually done this, uh, if I stand anywhere in this orange box, both uh, the zombie and the skeleton spawner should be active. So we're going to sit here for a little bit and kind of see how things work. Okay, I think that's enough waiting to get uh, started. Yeah, this does put quite a few... Uh, you, probably, you probably can't even hear me. Let's see, that does put quite a few mobs in there. I've not been standing there very long, just uh, five minutes, maybe? Ten? Hello, the kitty. Okay. So bear with me. Boy, that almost fully charged that pickaxe. And it was almost, uh, it, was, it was getting near the end. Yeah, so that's all going into the sorting system over here. So I've got very a very limited sort, sorting system. So got to charge up uh, my pickaxe, my axe, my shovel because they're all they're all getting low, and I don't like it when they get low, especially since I got mending on them. So I'm gonna charge those up since I had to come over here and get my uh, granite blocks anyhow. And I'm going to try and think if I need anything else before we leave. And then we'll head on back and start uh, putting a roof on our mansion, I think. We have all our tools all charged up. Got my uh, extra granite that I need. So I think we are ready to get back to work. Ah, little fox. And, uh, as usual, it's uh, just getting dark. So, let's unload all this, get some sleep, and then we can uh, put the roof on our mansion. So, I thought the granite would go well with these uh, mud bricks and stuff. There's also... Well, maybe I could even get away with like doing something like that to give a little more depth, but I don't think that's going to work because it kind of sticks out. I don't like the way that sticks out. If it was like a you know a smaller block up against the front, that might work. The only other thing I could think of is if I pull this out, do that. That may actually work a little better. Yeah, I'm really not sure. I think I may just have to leave it as it is. It's not too bad. Although it is a bit flat through there. Maybe I'll go for some kind of like a granite wall or something. I just had this idea when I was picking up the granite that maybe I could use it to enhance the, you know, the windows, but that's not going to work. So we have a relatively straightforward roof this time. No, you know, not too many weird angles. I just got this little zigzag area over here, but that should not be a problem. So essentially all I'm going to do is a straight, you know, stair roof like this. It's meant to be a little more random than that, but... And now that this is hanging down, I wonder if that's going to look weird. Is that going to look weird over the windows? Let's take a look. Hmm. Well, I actually I think that may actually help. 
because it lowers the eyesight down there so I don't have such a you know big open space. But I definitely will have to go back and put shutters on these and maybe shutters on these here. Yeah, if I put the uh, the trap doors of shutters on that and then put the trap door underneath, there we go, underneath on this block here to kind of put that dark oak outline around it, I think that'll, uh, that'll solve my kind of monotone problem that I'm having there where, you know, this is all so flat and, you know, almost one dimensional. So I want to want to pull that out and make it multi-dimensional. So I guess I'm just going to start putting the roof on here. We'll, uh, we're going to do that in a time lapse, so uh, it should go pretty quickly. And then we'll uh, see what we get once I'm, uh, I'm back. Okay, so I got the roof generally on here, but I need to tweak the outside because I'm looking here and it just doesn't look right. So I'm thinking through here, I'm going to go with, do this like I did on the front. Oops. Dang it. Just trying to make sure I get the right, uh, right size here. Or not the right size, but the right level. This is a little too high. There. I'm going to put pressure plates on it just to give it a little dark highlight. So when you're looking at it from below, you're just going to see this kind of a darker line there. And then up here, just for the transition, I'm going to put a nice hard line right there. I think that will make it... Uh, a little less flat and boring because I don't have any windows on this side and I don't think I could well I could probably get away with a window on here and there. well let's take a look on the inside I think I've got too much stuff in there to put a window yeah the windows not really gonna work because I've only got I've got three on this side so I could put a window there the window would have to go here to balance it out because it's because I, I put that double wall in there. And you really don't notice the imbalance on the inside, but you would really notice it on, out here because I'd have to have probably, let's see, this would be the outside wall, inside wall. Yeah, so I'd have a window here. And then the other window would be here. Because these are this is wall and that's wall. Now yeah, we'll just leave it that way. I'll put plants or trees or something here so you really won't notice. But this is what I was really trying to get. I need a break up here where I put it in this uh, the gable area. And I didn't want to go with granite or brick. And then you do just see that line right there. I thought of putting the uh, the trap doors there too but i think it'll be a little too heavy and then we have another area problem or another problem area here because if you look it's kind of weird it just sort of hangs out here it looks like it's you know suspended in air so i 
think I need to put in a uh, like a down. Uh, oh, it's going to be on the bottom one, isn't it? It's actually going to be here. I need to put a down column right there. That way, it doesn't look you know heavy and overwhelming. My only worry is it's going to look a little funny. Yeah, a little funny having the column there and then having this. Like this, you know, this fence here. So that's what I thought. I thought I might have to do this. Yeah, that balances out, I think. And I also want to put this here. They are just as um. Not trim, but just kind of a highlight on the front door there. Can I get away with it? Not. I uh, probably better put it. Well, I'll be able to put it on this one and this one. Yeah, I'll be able to put it on all of them. So, can I do this? No. Um, can I do this? There. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I kind of like the highlight there, but I need to add another another bit right there. And maybe not do it on the end. The sand was looking a little weird, but I think... Oh, I know what I'll do. So if I go up here, and I do... We'll get rid of these. So those actually belong here, just for balance. And then I'm just going to drag yeah, this all the way across there. Yeah, that's looking better. That looks a little weird right there. But I think, yeah, I need to put in, yeah, I need to continue this across. So like right here. Do I need one more? Yeah, I need one more there. Then we'll uh, you know, kind of pressure plate it. Yeah, that's looking okay. I'm still concerned about these being a little flat. So maybe, do I have any jungle stairs? Jungle slab. Jungle slab, jungle slab. No jungle stairs. I need to get, let me go get some jungle stairs. Because that may... Did I bring any jungle wood? I didn't bring any jungle wood, did I? Because I think that'll help. Yeah, if I use jungle stairs instead of solid blocks, I think that'll make it look a little better. So, so, so if I take these two out... So this would be a window. Or actually, no, that is a window. No wonder it looks odd. It's supposed to be a window. I forgot. I forgot to put the window part in here. Okay, yeah, that's right. I don't need the uh, don't need the stairs for this one. Yeah, that was going to be a window here, but up here it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be a window here. Let's take a look and see. This is second floor, so I don't think I've really got everything all worked out over here in the second floor. I don't really want a sideways window, but I can do this. If I do, I'll do the same thing over here. Actually, I'll do the whole thing here. So I can put a whole window here, 
Don't need a window here, do I? Yeah, I don't think I can get away with a full window over here. Yeah, because it's just too short. This one's down just a little lower than that, so this one allows me to put a window. We'll just put the shutters around it, so we're going to have shuttered windows up here. And then let's go over here. Yeah, so this will be the same thing with the shuttered windows. And then I'm going to that will that work? That may be too far up. Yeah, I think that's too far up. Let's do this. Oh, come on. Yeah, that kind of ties in with the, uh, the highlight underneath. I'll just take a quick look from over in this end. If I'm coming up here. Yeah, that looks... Yeah, that'll look fine. That'll be fine. We're still going to put lighting and that kind of stuff around here. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And then I've got this uh, kind of scalloped edging. It's probably it's probably with the trap doors there or the. Pressure plates. They open the trap doors. Like here, I need to get some more of these trap doors, but that they'll go along all these windows, and then we'll just put this this kind of this trim right along this whole thing. And it's going to go all the way through here and around. Carry it this way. I'm just I'm not going all the way to the corner with these. Oh, I'm out of pressure plates. Yeah, I'm out of pressure plates and trapdoors. And then I need to do the same thing over on this end. So this end over here, I need to put that ledge all the way across there. And then the I did an example here on the bottom window. So I'll put the shutters on the bottom window. And I'm also putting a cap over the bottom windows here. The only one I need to check is this one. I may add a window in here since this is stairs now. Because that's the restroom. This is going to be a storage closet. But now I've got maybe a smaller closet and stairs. So I may put a big window at the head of the stairs. So it shines in and makes it look a lot nicer. Okay, there we go. Added in that window there. Looks a little funny so close to the other one. At least I guess the shutters are what's doing it. I may have to do something about that, but I like the way this, you know, the stair edging here kind of sets everything off. And you can just see the little black line where the dark oak is right there. So it kind of takes away from making it one big flat, you know, flat expanse up there. And the shutters seem to work too. So, so that actually came out not bad at all. So I think that is going to do it for today. I think I'm out of time, at least for this episode. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, come back and we will continue uh, building this mansion. Thank you.